Hello everyone and welcome to East Talks Business. Today, we're going to be talking about management and business administration in the Middle East. We'll discuss some of the key challenges and opportunities facing managers and business administrators in the region. And we'll provide you with some advisors on how to be successful in these specific roles. managers in the Middle East, which is a dynamic and growing region, but it also presents a number of challenges for managers and business administrators. Some of these key challenges will include cultural diversity. The Middle East is a culturally diverse region with a wide range of languages, religions and customs. This can make it challenging to create a workplace culture that is inclusive and respectful of all employees. Rapid change. The Middle East is undergoing a rapid economic and social change. This can make it difficult for managers to keep up with the latest trends and developments, and it can also lead to uncertainty and instability. Despite these challenges, there's a lot and a big number of opportunities as well. The region is really experiencing rapid economic growth, and there is a high demand for skilled and experienced managers. Today, I will share with you a bunch of business administration tips for managers in the Middle East. Number one, budgeting. You have to create a realistic budget. When creating your budget, it's important to be realistic about your income and expenses. Consider all of your costs, including fixed costs such as rent and utilities, and also the variable costs such as inventory and marketing. Also, you have to track the spending. Once you create the budget, it's a very important point to track your spending to make sure that you are staying on track. This will help you to identify any areas where you can cut costs. Use technology to your advantage. There are a number of software programs and apps that can help you to create and track your budget. These tools can be very helpful in managing your finances. Strategic planning, very important topic for me and for you and for everyone. When you develop the strategic plan, it's your roadmap for your business. So it should outline your business goals, objectives, and strategies. When you do this plan, you have to review it and update it on a regular basis. The business environment is constantly changing. So it's very important to review and update your strategic plan on a regular basis. This will help you to ensure that your plan is still relevant and achievable. You have to get input from others as well. When developing your strategic plan, it's important to get input from others, such as your employees, customers, and business advisors. This will help you to develop a more comprehensive and effective plan. Team management. Hire the right people. When hiring employees, it's very important to look for the right people who have the skills and experience necessary to help you achieve your business goals. Delegate tasks effectively. Once you have hired these right people, it's important to delegate your tasks very effective. This will help you free up your time to focus on more strategic issues. Very important also for your employees to provide feedback and support. It will help them to learn and to grow. It will also help to create a positive work environment for all your employees. Communication, communication, communication. Please communicate effectively with your employees. Very important. This includes being clear and concise in your communication and also being open for feedback. You also have to communicate regularly with your customers. This will help you to build relationships with them and to understand the real needs. Technology. You have to use technology to your advantage. There's a lot and a large number of technology tools that can help you to communicate more effectively. The business communication platforms, simple email, video conferencing, and definitely social media. There are also other tips that I want to share with you. Building relationships are essential in the Middle East. Take the time to build relationships with your employees, customers, and stakeholders. Invest in your people. Your employees are most important assets. Invest in training them and developing them and give them the resources that will help them to be successful. You'll be expected to be socially responsible as well. It's really, really important for you to give the community and support sustainable development initiatives. Also be transparent and ethical. These are very essential for businesses to build trust with your customers and stakeholders. So be committed to transparency and ethical business practices. 
you're also expected to be a role model. Managers and business administrators should set a good example for their employees. Be ethical and professional in the way you conduct your business. Also, one more important topic is to learn the local language. By this, it will help managers to better communicate with their employees and their customers. Another very important point is to be involved in the community. It's a great way to build goodwill and to promote your business. Managers can sponsor local events, donate to charity, and volunteer their time to worthy causes. Thank you so much for that. And with that, I conclude my episode for today from East Talks Business. Middle East is a challenging but rewarding region. By following these advices above, you can increase your chances of success in this exciting market. I hope this information is useful and helpful. Good luck with your business journey in the Middle East. Thank you so much for watching this episode of East Talks Business. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on business in the Middle East. Thank you.